This is Win News. Tonight, Launceston Airport evacuated and the bomb squad called in over a suspicious vehicle. A sick Antarctic expedition have finally arrives in Hobart. And from tradition to chocolate, Tasmanians mark Good Friday. Good evening, Peter Hughes in Tasmania with Win News. A bomb scare has forced the evacuation of the Launceston Airport this morning. Tasmania police and the bomb squad were called in after a suspicious package was found in the front seat of a car. Hannah Jenkins has more. Launceston Airport shut down as the bomb squad worked to determine whether there's a threat to the public. Around 10 a.m. this morning, the terminal was evacuated and passengers were held on their aircraft after abandoned Honda Civic was found parked in the two minute drop off zone. But after clearing the scene, Tasmania police say it turned out to be a false alarm. It looks like the guy had his mobile phone in the backpack charging, so there was wires coming out of the backpack into the vehicle. The airport was then given the all clear to reopen the terminal after a dramatic few hours for Easter travellers. Police urging Tasmanians to continue reporting any suspicious activity. You treat it as real, you do all your checks, get the experts in to deal with it, clear it and then um, we know it's all safe. Hannah Jenkins, Win News. Tasmania's three World Cup stars have arrived back home for some well-deserved R&R following a gruelling summer of cricket. James Faulkner, George Bailey and Xavier Doherty attended last night's Ricky Ponting medal count at the Blunston Arena, continuing their week-long celebrations following Sunday night's historic win against New Zealand. George Bailey says there hasn't been too much partying this week. Um, no, I've been on best behaviour. <laughs> Remarkably, the Tasmanian was the only undefeated captain at the World Cup after playing just one match in the absence of Michael Clark. Too spread out the tournament, wasn't it? He, he had so much time to recover between his games. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. I have never seen him so fit. <laughs> this is only a quick stop home for our three stars. On Sunday, Bailey and Faulkner head to the Indian Premier League and soon Doherty will take off to England to play league cricket. Brent Costello, Win News. Time for sport now, and here he is. Happy Easter to the lucky tipster, the man who predicted that Carlton would lose last night and uh, Andrew Feckety would win the medal. How do you do it? What's your secret? Pick the favourites. <laughs> Pretty simple. I'm going to do what you do. <laughs> Listen to my secret. All right, what's coming up tonight? Yeah, lots coming up tonight, Pete. The TSL season is underway with four big matches across the state. We'll have all the highlights coming up. Last night the AFL season began in Melbourne and it was Richmond led by Tasmanian Jack Revolt that got the win over Carlton. The wash-up is coming up including the latest on Dale Thomas's injury. Back home and Andrew Feckety is being crowned this season's Ricky Ponting medalist as the Tasmanian Tigers best and fairest player. Three years ago I was working as an accountant at Coopers and trying to make it in Victorian cricket and didn't quite get there so Tasmania threw me a lifeline if you will and, and got me down here for two years and um, just trying to repay their faith. Also tonight two of the Victory League's heavyweights go head to head in a grand final clash, a good Friday clash at Darcy Street. And a massive upset it was too, I'll tell you about that a little later. Excellent, I think you'll get an inside information, that's how you're doing it. <laughs> Now, soon on Tasmania's Win News, a wrecked farm relic returned to its former glory as a World War II tank. And how a hit and run landed this car in the bottom of a backyard pool. You're on statewide Win News. A car crash literally made waves in Sydney this morning. A vehicle careering off the road and plunging into a swimming pool. As Dimity Clancy reports, the driver and the two passengers managed to escape, with police now looking for a taxi driver who sped away from the accident. Perfectly positioned in a suburban Sydney pool, a blue Mitsubishi in at the deep end. Let's have a look at a good Friday's weather for you. It was a cool start with cloudy conditions and light showers about the west and far south. It was fine and mostly sunny across the remainder of the state. Now the temperatures today on the map. King and Flinders Islands made 16 degrees. Spurney was 15, Devonport 16, Launceston 18 degrees there. 17 degrees for St Helens today, 18 for Swansea. Over in the west, Strawn was 15 and Hobart's maximum temperature today was 18 degrees. And I'll have full details for you later. Now ahead on Win News on this Good Friday, the state's religious leaders encourage Tasmanians to reflect. And Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban arrive home for a special family holiday.
You're on Win News. Tasmania's religious leaders have used their Easter messages to talk about the sacrifice of Good Friday and have encouraged the community to reflect on the meaning of life. Time for sport now with the lucky tipster, and you did tip it, Andrew Feckety, winning the Ricky Ponting medal last night. It wasn't a hard one. He was <laughs> no. the season's best player. We yes. hear from him uh, after the break. Also tonight, the TSL season begins with four big matches across the state. Footy first tonight and Brett Delidio has given the AFL's revamped match review panel an early test after a high bump he's labelled unfortunate. Under the new classification, the Tigers star is facing at least a two-match ban. Andrew Fickety has capped off a sensational summer by winning the Ricky Ponting medal as the Tasmanian Tigers' best and fairest player. The Paceman was also crowned the Sheffield Shield and one-day player of the season with English import Heather Knight claiming the women's top gong. Feckety won the Ricky Ponting medal on an impressive 324 votes, 136 ahead of second placed Ed Cowan. Three years ago I was working as an accountant at Pricewaterhouse Coopers and trying to make it in Victorian cricket and didn't quite get there. So Tasmania threw me a lifeline if you will and, and got me down here for two years and um, just trying to repay their faith. Feckety took 37 Sheffield Shield and nine one-day wickets this summer and was crowned the Tigers' best player in both tournaments. Earlier in an emotion-charged speech, Ed Cowan farewelled Tasmanian cricket. To my teammates, um, thank you friendship and support. Jenny and little Rogan and Mum, who can't be here obviously. But Great sport, all the better. Okay. So thank you for having me. While we're down here, I always say you're a, uh, a former New South Welshman in Tasmania. I hope that I can now be a, a former Tasmanian in Sydney. Thanks. After a dominant season, English recruit Heather Knight scooped the women's awards, winning the Tasmanian Raw Player of the Season. I'm looking forward to catching up with a lot of you in England and maybe potentially in Australia next year. Thanks a lot, guys. And in an awkward moment, Ben Hilfenhouse won the Hobart Hurricanes Player of the Season after recently signing with the Melbourne Stars. And a quick score update from West Park in the TSL, Pete, in the late game. Bernie, 22 points up over Devonport in the third quarter. Well, that's all right. And are the Eagles going to win tomorrow? I don't think they will. There you go, there's another tip for you. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, Brent. Now the weather details are next. Uh, for Easter Saturday, rain around the state. You're watching the Wind News Hour. Good Friday weather now, and it was a cool start again this morning across the state. Cloudy conditions and light showers about the west of the far south. It was fine and mostly sunny across the remainder of the state. On the map there, King and Flinders Islands made 16 degrees today, 15 in Burnie, 16 degrees for Devonport, Launceston 18, St Helens 17, 18 for Swansea, 15 degrees for Strawn in the west, and Hobart today was 18 degrees. Now the satellite tonight showing cloudy conditions about much of the west and south with progressively clearer conditions towards the north of the state. Also a large mass of middle level clouds stretching from the Indian Ocean over Western Australia, South Australia and New South Wales out over the Tasman Sea. Cloud bands can still be seen swirling around a low over the Tasman Sea and a cloud can be seen affecting the coasts of Victoria and South Australia. On the water swells up to three metres in the south, two and a half in the west and one and a half metres and less elsewhere. The winds 20 knots in the north and east and 10 knots elsewhere. Tomorrow's temperatures, King Island 18, Flinders 20, 18 for Burnie, Devonport and Launceston expecting 19, Flinders 18 degrees, 19 for Swansea, 18 for Strawn and Hobart tomorrow the maximum should be 19 degrees. Now the national weather should be sunny in Cairns and Melbourne, rain in Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra, cloudy in Adelaide and Perth. Back here for the three-day forecast, the northwest rain on Sunday and Monday, 17 to 19. Launceston, the same forecast, 17 to 19. And Hobart rain right through, 15 to 21 degrees. And that's the latest weather. And that's when news for this Good Friday. I'm Peter Hughes. Georgia loves in over the weekend. And from all of us here, a very happy Easter.